Hey everyone, Samosasaurus 6 here and welcome back to another video. Today I got this in the mail. Um, it is the Arrow Video Gamera Complete Collection. I am so excited to delve into this. This thing is, first of all, huge. Absolutely huge. I mean, just, it's like a big encyclopedia, but it is massive. I thought the uh, Criterion Godzilla collection was big, but my goodness, this thing is huge. And I'll show you for comparison, this is a DVD, and that's a DVD case there next to it. As you can see, quite big, but wow, so excited um, to delve into this. Let's uh, first of all just take a quick look um, at the front cover, there is Gamera there, and um, this box set features some amazing art by Matt Frank, um, who is well known for his kaiju art, um, and um, he was uh, really excited to do it, and as you can see, just look at the amazing artwork there, just incredible. Now I love Gamera, absolutely love Gamera, but I haven't seen all the movies, um, specifically I haven't seen um, anything after Guardian of the Universe, so Attack of um, Legion, Revenge of Iris, and Gamera the Brave I haven't seen, so the Showa era Gamera I love, I'm very familiar with that, and Guardian of the Universe is my favourite, so I know those designs but I'm not sure about this one, so I guess this is um, from Revenge of Iris or uh, Attack of Legion, one of those, but that's a wicked camera design there. And uh, there he is flying around, amazing, just amazing. So there's a the front cover. Oh cool, look at all these little um, hieroglyphs kind of things here with all the uh, Showa era versions, I think. Jiga, there's uh, Barugon, there is Guron, uh, there is Viras, uh, Zegra. So awesome, this whole cover is really awesome uh, with all the uh, little kaiju creatures on there. Um, fantastic. Okay, so the side, uh, Gamera Complete Collection. So this set includes Gamera the Giant Monster, the original, versus Barugon, versus Gaios, Viras, Guron, Jaiga, Zegra, Super Monster, everyone's favorite. <laughs> um, Guardian of the Universe, Gamera 2, Attack of Legion, and Revenge of Iris, Gamera 3, and Gamera the Brave! So that is the entire set, everything's in here. I'm so glad that Arrow could get the rights to every single one, uh, knowing with Godzilla is always issues, especially in the UK like me, that some companies have some licenses and some have other ones and you can never get a whole box set of them, but this is awesome that Arrow managed to get the complete collection of um, the Gamera movies all in one box. Let's have a look at the back. So here we go. The original Hero in a Half Shell is here for the first time ever worldwide. All 12 tales of the adventures of everyone's favorite Titan Terrapin are collected together in one deluxe Blu-ray set. The limited edition collector's set traces the decades-long evolution of Gamera from the friend of all children in his more light-hearted earlier films to the Guardian of the Universe in the groundbreaking 1990s reboot often hailed as three of the best kaiju films ever made. I love Guardian of the Universe. Haven't seen the other two but what I've seen they look amazing so I know I'm going to be loving them when I finally see them. So Limited edition, collector's packaging, housed in a large format rigid box, fully illustrated by Matt Frank, hardback 130 page comic book including a full colour reprint of the four issue Gamera comic series originally illustrated by Dark Horse Comics in 1996. Fantastic, you get a comic book in here as, as well. Excellent. First ever English language printing of the prequel comic, The Last Hope by Matt Frank and Dracula Bugosh. Perfect bound 80 page book including a new retrospective on the series by Patrick Machias. An archive interview with Noriaki Yuasa by David Milner. Kaiju extra illustrations by Joy Lon. Sorry, Joel Yon Yates, Fangoria set reports on the Hasty Trilogy by Norman England, and a viewer's guide to the English dubbed versions of the film. Double sided, four panel poster of Gamera's Map of Japan in both English and Japanese. Collector's art cards for each film, including new artwork by Matt Frank. Fantastic, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down you can have a look at what's involved on each disc. So you've got disc one, Gamera the Giant Monster, you've got 
1080p transfer and you got Gamera remembering the uh, Gamera series uh, archive feature from 1991 interviews Gamera special and hour long comp best of compilation supervised by Noraki USA 1991 and alternative English credits so you go Gamera vs Burigon Gamera vs Gaios got commentaries by August Ragone and James Varney so also on Gamera vs Burigon you get the 1080p transfer of War of the Monsters which is the American edit of Gamera of the version of the film with so this that disc four disc five so camera guarding in the universe you get a 15 years part one testimony first an epic three-part documentary interviewing cast and crew of the hasty trilogy that sounds cool disc six camera attack of legion original japanese and english audio dubbed commentary uh, behind the scenes featurettes on set footage, you get more commentaries on this disc uh, seven, uh, behind the scenes featurettes, Awakening of Iris remix, montage of behind the scenes, and Gamera the Brave. You get documentaries, men that made Gamera, special effects supercut, interviews, and everything. Wow, so this pretty much chock full of a lot of stuff. So let's delve straight in and try and open it up. Okay, so I've just got my scissors and opened up the plastic shrink wrap. So at the back, there is a bit of cardboard there with all the information on the disc and the content. So let's have a look at the box. It is like a book, so you have to slide open, slide in and it opens up like this. I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. Okay, so there's the case, slide it out. There you go, so, oh wow, there's so much in here. My God, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's have a look at it one by one. So there's the case, okay huge case there. Now first of all before I go into it I just want to show you my previous uh, Gamera Blu-ray collections. Now obviously me being in the UK um, Kaiju movies and especially Toho movies and Godzilla movies are very 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 tricky to come by. Um, brief history it was very very difficult to get hold of Godzilla movies because the rights in the UK were I don't know there was just issues with them so we had manga video in the early 90s release some Godzilla movies um, and then forefront video um, in the 1998 release some of the Showa era Godzilla movies but we've never had a release of every single one now with Gamera um, manga video uh, released basically this this is the DVD version but I've got the VHS version so back in the day how I saw Gamera for the first time was the Guardian of the Universe was the first movie I've watched and basically what it was was a manga video which is a UK distributor who did a couple of show um Heisei era Godzilla movies they released Gamera Guardian of the Universe which is how I uh, found out about Gamera um, in the first place now this version is it's called the UK special edition so what it is is it's Guardian of the Universe but specifically for the UK they did a, a manga video did a new-ish edit it was slightly shorter but they did English dubbing with English voice actors um, which isn't particularly great because the voice actors found very monotone and quite bored and also with a brand new soundtrack they added techno and dance um, music to the movie so when I first watched this as a kid I thought it was absolutely incredible hearing uh, and seeing a kaiju movie with techno music in the in the, uh, as the monsters are fighting that was just awesome <laughs> absolutely awesome and I love this version so I managed to get this um, DVD version of it I got it on VHS as well but I managed to get this DVD version of Guardian of the Universe the UK special edition edit and um, because it was the one that was shown everywhere in the UK as well I think sci-fi channel showed it a lot as well um, you can't really get this where anywhere else but the UK um, 
it. But yeah, it was an absolutely crazy mashup, um, and I really, really loved it because kaiju's and techno music, and um, so it's just awesome. Watched it recently, however, and it hasn't aged very well. But this version is the only version of Gamera that I've ever known, and, and I love this, and that's why uh, Guardian of the Universe is my favorite because just growing up on this one movie alone. So that's Guardian of the Universe, which is the only, uh, sorry, UK edit, which was the only version ever released in the UK. And apart from that, me seeing Gamera for the first time, uh, the older movies, was from um, these Blu-rays. Now I picked up these Blu-rays from the Amer uh, from the United States of America. These are imported versions, and these are Mill Creek uh, versions. Okay, so uh, there's two volumes, Volume One and Volume Two. It's basically the Showa collection. Okay, so across two discs, I think, or maybe one disc. I don't know. Let me just do it. So look. This is this. So previously, this is the, the the only way that I managed to see the um, Gamera movies. So I ported these. Let's have a look. Yeah. So on one disc each, they've got four movies. And now they're good high definition transfers. To be honest, I watched them and they're good. Now the best thing about these is is that they are the original Japanese versions um, with old Japanese audio. They're not the American cuts. They're not dubbed or anything. So that's cool in high definition. And the best thing about these is, is that they are region three. So obviously um, UK is region two and America is region A, but these ones are region three. So I managed to import them a couple of years ago and see them and they're completely fine. Gamera Guardian of the Universe was released here and I can't remember, a different company released Re Attack of Legion and Revenge of Iris, but I never managed to pick them up and never see them. So this was the only one I managed to see. Um, but thankfully with this box set, I can finally see everything in its entirety. So these is what I had before, these two volumes. And these are completely fine. They do the job. No spe special features or anything. So I really wanted to get something which had so much more on there. So this was the collection to get. So that's my history with Gamera. Um, so let's have a look. So there's the box. And I love the box. Um, I love the titles and the font is cool. And then there he is. Um, and then back, it's got the shell uh, design on there. The So that's really cool. So let's have a look at what you get in there. So first of all, okay, you get this book. Look at an amazing book, man, with some amazing uh, art by Matt Frank, 2020. So these are brand new official. So there's Gamera fighting Zegra there, Baragon there, and Gaios there. Awesome, don't know what that says. I imagine it says Gamera. Um, that's awesome, look at that. Awesome picture. These Matt Frank's artwork is so unbelievably good. It's like every single one I want framed. Um, so this is, uh, if I remember correctly, this is a creature from a fan film or an unreleased movie, Gamera vs. something, I can't recall. The unreleased uh, movie, Gamera vs. something, and this, this King Cobra is really cool. So that's really good that even the un unreleased stuff, they, they he's done an image of, so that's awesome. So let's have a look through the book. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll look at the other stuff first and look at the book at the end. So let's have a look here. So this is the same image as that was on the front of the box. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so. The discs are all housed in the book. So first of all, look at this. So these are the Showa era Gamera Kaiju. So you've got Gaios there, Baragon there, Barugon. Sorry, you keep getting confused because there's a Baragon in the Godzilla universe as well. So you've got Barugon there, and then you've got Gamera there with the flame coming out. Awesome. So you've got the discs there. So you've got Gamera versus Barugon, Gamera versus Gaios, and then you've got Gamera, the giant monster, the original. Okay, and I love this color scheme as well going on. Quite thick pages here. So these creatures here, these kaiju represent the um, the creatures on these set of films. Okay, so then you've got here, you've got the discs Gamera versus Viras and Gamera versus Guron. And on this disc here, you've got Gamera versus Jiga, Gamera versus Zegra and Gamera Super Monster. So on the accompanying page, you've got Viras, Guron, Jiga, Zegra, and the spaceship from Super Monster. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. That's brilliant. The discs are kind of loose in here, which is, I guess, if you don't mind that, can kind he of wobbling around? And it's got a little bit of a 
tab here so you can take them out. So if you don't mind that, that's kind of cool. Otherwise, if you have an issue with them, then yeah, I have seen, just like the Criterion Godzilla collection, uh, fan made boxes, um, Blu-ray cases. So even you could possibly do that because this book seems huge to put on my bookshelf. So let's turn the page. Okay, so you've got Gamera, the Guardian of the Universe, and then Gamera 2, Attack of Legion, and on the accompanying page, so, Gaios there from Guardian Universe, and I guess this is Legion. Look at that! I'm so excited to see this movie for the first time. Just absolutely amazing. Just look at that creature design, it looks so awesome. And Gaios there, I love the redesign of Gaios in Guardian Universe as well, just so cool. Look at it, it just looks awesome. There you go, there's Gamera right there. And I love the artwork on the discs as well, that's really cool. I maybe didn't see that from before, but yeah, the artwork on the disc is awesome. Look at that, absolutely awesome. Love it, it looks so mean. Absolutely awesome. So these were the, this era, uh, the Showa era was when he was the friend to children, but even there he looks really mean. <laughs> okay, so. Let's have a look at the last couple of discs then. So, got Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, and then Gamera the Brave. Again, awesome artwork on the discs. So this Gamera I see a lot, so it's from the uh, Revenge of Iris. Okay, that Gamera is a cool design too. So on the accompanying pages, I guess that's Iris. That looks awesome. Is that the name of the Kaiju? I'm not entirely sure because I haven't seen it, but that looks so cool. Look at it, it looks so mean. Absolutely awesome, it's got some Hench pecs there as well. Awesome. Look at that one. Okay, so this is Zedis. And I know this because when YouTube first came out, I remember I watched a clip of Gamera versus Zedis, and I've always liked this design. It looks so cool with the frills out. Look at it. It looks so awesome in the tongue. Awesome. So there's Gamera the Brave. Now, I'm not entirely sure about Gamera the Brave, but when I first saw his design, I'm like, wow, okay, they've really changed. Um, direction. I guess this is more of a kids film, like a real kids, really like a young kids film because it really looks really cute, kind of like E.T. there. So I'm not entirely sure of Gamera the Brave. Is he, is he, does he grow up in there to become the adult Gamera or is it all about him being an infant? I'm not sure, but I remember though, yeah, I guess it's more about the kids in this one, like the, um, the older movies. But yeah, I'm excited to see it though. Um, not really a fan of this version of Gamera, the design, but I'm excited to see what they do with it. And if this disc has um, that mean Gamera there, I'm hoping that he does grow up to that. But yeah, really excited to see that. So, the last uh, couple of pages, right? So we've got Gamera images here by Matt Frank. Incredible artwork though, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. And then here, I don't know what these are. These little slip, slip, uh, slip cases here, slip things. Oh, these are just art cards. Okay, awesome. So you got Gamera there. Again, all by Matt Frank. Awesome. And then you've got Barugon here. They, oh, okay. So you got postcards basically. Yeah, so you got postcards. So there's a giant monster original. You get Barugon there. I love Barugon because it's got the rainbow power and it's so awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, Gamera and Gaios there. With the volcano in the background, awesome. Gamera versus Gaios. Then you've got Viras here. So I guess these pictures, are they the, the ones that we've already seen? Let's have a look. So if I just hold that there, and let me go here, back there. Yes, so these postcards are basically the full-size versions of all the little pictures that we saw earlier, okay? So all these pictures here, they actually have the full artwork on these postcards, so that's awesome. So there's Viras there, brilliant. And let's have a look what else is here. You got, here you go, Gamma versus Gairon. This is actually my favorite um, Gamera uh, Showa era movie. I just love how crazy this one is. They go to outer space, there's cannibal women there, there's Guron, there's like a metal space Gaios. It's just so cool and it's so out there and I love it. I love when these kaiju movies go to outer space with aliens and I love it with Godzilla as well. So that's awesome and I love that picture there. Really nice. Okay, we've got Gamera and Jiga there as well. Awesome and there's that special rock 
uh, in the movie that uh, blows the um, noise whistle that when they take it out it wakes up Jiger. Awesome! I love Jiger. Gamera gets mashed up from Jiger in the movie so he's really powerful Jiger. Oh she isn't it? Yeah it's a she. Um, I really like this one and it's really nasty as well when it um, lays eggs inside and stuff and these like needle things. It's really awesome. It's a great film Jiger but Gamera really gets a uh, uh, a butt kicking in that movie so that's really cool too I love that so there's a little um, area there for the postcards and you get more postcards here so we've got uh, Zegra there love it camera versus Zegra awesome the giant space shark and we've got camera super monster there which is <laughs> yeah uh, I seem to enjoy it, but when you find out the how they the making of it and the production behind it, yeah, it's they don't put that much of an effort in there. But it's still really really fun, and I love the little uh, Power Ranger elements they have there, and the uh, the women in there, and um, the actress in there. I can't remember what her name is. Uh, gosh, I can't remember what her name is, but she's so cool in that movie. But uh, yeah, there's a uh, Gamera Super Monster. And then you've got Gamera with Guardian of the Universe, which is awesome, I love that. This is my favorite design of Gamera as well, because this is the one I saw first, and the one I used to watch the most of, so I love this Gamera. And that guy also looks really cool there. Love it. Um, Gamera versus Legion. Great cool image there, looking really mean and cool there. I'm excited to see the um, the original version of uh, Guardian of the Universe as well, of having only seen the UK Special Edition edit. I haven't heard any of the music and I want to see, uh, you know, the original edit of it. So yeah, I'm really excited to see the original version finally. Camera, Revenge of Iris there. Love that design though. Absolutely cool. Looks like something out of Evangelion, which I l love as well. So there's really cool. Really great design there. Look at that. Absolute badass there. And then you've got Gamera the Brave. There. Again, awesome. Really, really cool artwork by Matt Frank there. Fantastic. Right, so you get the postcards in these little slots here. And then that's it. That's the end of that booklet. So this book holds all your DVDs. So that's awesome. So on top of that, you get two more books as well. Which is awesome so you get the comics collection book and this book so let's have a look at this book first the comics collection so again awesome cover absolutely awesome cover there's Zegra there Viras is there Gaios is there don't know who that is but this is cool let's have a look through oh wow check it out absolutely awesome love it look at that image so cool lovely spread really nicely painted too so the contents introduction by matt frank the last hope shadow of evil reckoning up from the deep and the last hope so get the comics there i'm not going to go through every single page but wow check that out you get a really cool set of comics all in this book absolutely awesome really cool can't wait to read this oh my gosh so you get the comics adaptation of the movie so you get the guardians oh my gosh look at that i love this image so much so you get um guardian the universe comic adaptation okay now as you notice i really do love this picture now you might be a little bit gutted to find out that none of the original Japanese posters for the films have been used like for my original DVD my UK edit it's got the original posters too it's all new artwork by Matt Frank so you might not be a fan of that you might not like that you might have just wanted the original Japanese work which is a fair point so it's something to look out for like the Criterion collection it just uses all new artwork for the discs and the box set it doesn't use any of the original Japanese posters or anything like that so that might be something that you might not like I would have actually liked that to be honest looking at it the original Japanese posters the should you know for the for the films as well as as these awesome drawings but I guess that's something that uh, you know uh, that they could have done uh, just like the Criterion one I really wish that 
they have the original posters for the for the movies instead of just all new artwork um, because you might not be a fan of just all comic related stuff. These are good bonuses. These are awesome artwork, but maybe you also would like to have the option of having the um, original artwork too. I think personally, I love it, but having the original posters and the original Japanese uh, stuff on there and, and postcards of, of the original Japanese uh, pictures and posters, that would have been really cool as well. So I guess that's something that they could have had. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's the comics in there. So that's really cool. Okay, awesome, awesome comics in there for you to look through. And then finally, the last book you get is this book again amazing artwork by Matt there and there so let's have a look through ah okay so this is awesome so this is a book and it's got all the official Japanese stuff in there so there you go we this is good. So this is awesome. So this makes up for the fact that everything I just said before about them not having any um, authentic Japanese um, posters and stuff. This book has everything in there. You get the original authentic posters for each of the film and information about each film. So brilliant. So you get the bonus of Matt Frank's brilliant artwork as well as the official Japanese stuff there. So brilliant. So looking through. Really nice book here. Contents talking about the history of Gamera and all the different movies, interviews, x-rays, uh, excellent. So you got interviews here and you got really nice pictures, a really nice glossy book, um, chron chronicling the history of Gamera, interviews, you got information and credit lists of each of the films, the posters are in there, awesome. And that's a really good thing to have. So I'm actually really glad that Arrow included this uh, book that chronicles everything. So brilliant. That's her. What was her name? Mac Fumiaki. She's one of the best things about Super Monster. I love her. And uh, she just looks amazing. And all her outfits are so cool as well. Um, so camera is a zebra. And then you go, okay, all the posters are all there. Love it. That's awesome. And I love it. I love old school kaiju. Tokusatsu film posters, awesome. And there's the American version because it's got an extra M in there. Gamera the Invincible. Awesome, love it, awesome. So in the back, um, they've got more information. Guide to English language Gamera, pictures, uh, but and information about the making of Heisei Trilogy. I love these. I love when I do it with Godzilla as well. But yeah, you've got x-ray diagrams of all the kaijus. Awesome. And then making of it. So this is good. So, you know, they talk a little about, the, about the, each of the films with really nice glossy pictures. Awesome. This is worthy enough to buy separately, but you get it included for free. How awesome is that? The making and in and chronicling the history while well, it's talking about the film. So this is awesome that you get this for absolutely free too. So let's wrap it up then. So the collection, you get the Blu-rays, you get the complete collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve films. You get a comics collection book as well as book chronicling, the films, interviews, and the postcards, 100%, totally worth it. I think this is an amazing Gamera collection and I think they pretty much have sussed it all out. I think they could not have probably included anything else. I am really excited to delve in to see the movies, but my goodness, this is awesome and 100% worth your time. If you like um, kaiju movies, if you're a fan of Godzilla, Gamera is right up there with the big G. So I think this is really, really good, a really good set uh, to get introduced to Gamera as well. Um, and in America, you have different releases. We've had different releases, but in the UK, uh, this is the first time that we get the entire collection. Definitely, definitely something worth getting. So yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, 
can't wait to delve into it but you just get a really really nice set here so definitely i think worth it 100 percent and i can't wait to see the films now so yeah that's it there's the gamera complete collection by arrow video just over 100 pounds uh which is completely fine i think you get blu-ray collection stuff full of extras and all these bonus items as well so i think it's totally worth it so can't wait to get into it gamera is really neat thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you